Hey YouTube, today we're going to show you how to prevent your car from having a heart attack. Yeah, real talk. Just like you can have a heart attack in your body, your car can have a heart attack too. We're going to show you why and how, and how to keep that issue from happening. I want to show you what happens when you don't change your oil appropriately in your car, or don't change the oil at all, or use a sorry low quality grade of oil. Well look in here. You'll see how that, all that is built up on there. Oh my gosh. This car is on a limited, very limited life cycle. Okay? If that stuff starts breaking off, some people would see this and be like, Oh yeah, well you just put some, some chemical in it and break it up. Look at that. This is chunks of oil. Okay? This is some of the stuff we pulled out of this car here chunks of oil and what happens is if this stuff falls down in the oil pan obviously it's going to clog up the oil screen it won't even make it to the oil filter because it's going to clog up on the pickup screen and uh, then it's going to starve itself from lubrication and wow we even have like broken parts and pieces inside of this vehicle so again this is one reason why it's so important to change your oil because if you don't, you don't know what's hiding under the covers. And the only thing we've done here is we've simply taken the valve cover off of the vehicle. Okay? You can see here, here's the valve cover here at the top. You lift that valve cover up and you see it's just as bad in the back. So I don't know if the owner of this vehicle, well, <laughs> I don't know if the current owner of this vehicle changed the oil regularly or not. It came in for the valve cover gasket issue and, uh, of course you gotta take the valve covers off but once you do you see that that is all gooped up um, the inside of the valve cover as you can see is messed up as well back in the day there used to be an oil that would do this um, I'm not gonna call any, any any names of the oil but do your research and you'll find out which oil used to sludge up really really bad but um, before this goes back on it will need to be thoroughly clean and this is thick oh my god this is horribly thick <laughs> all right well I guess we'll pull a miracle out of there kind of give you an idea what it looks like if it were clean uh, let's see this is a cylinder head dirty extremely dirty and hang on we'll show you one clean Okay, this is a clean cylinder head. I mean, it's, it's a little dirty, but it's nowhere near as bad as what the other one was. Um, and as you can see, you can see the metal and you can see the working mechanisms. Unlike on that other one, that was just clearly oiled and gooked up. Again, you do not want that on your car because once that oil and gook starts falling down, it's going to destroy or cause your motor to destroy itself from inside out. So in conclusion, people, to avoid this issue, please change your oil. On regular conventional oil, I recommend changing that oil every 3,000 miles. With synthetic oil, I recommend changing it maybe every five or 6,000 miles. I know right now there's some companies out there that have oil. They say you can go a year without changing it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens to it when you don't change it. I mean, this is just a thick, gook mess. Look at that. That is horrible. This has got to be the worst one I've seen. <laughs> so, some of you may be like, well, why can't you go ahead and just clean it up, clean it out? Well, you run the risk of, like I said, dropping that oil down in there, and then you're going to cause yourself better bigger problem so you know unless you're able or planning to take the oil pan off of the vehicle after you clean this gook out then I would recommend just leaving it alone <laughs> you might want to add like uh, some type of um, chemical to it like a flush or something but even then if you do flush it and this stuff comes off in big chunks you're going to cause yourself other problems and you will have to remove the oil pan in order to get all this out. If you do not remove the oil pan and get this thick stuff out of there, you will destroy your motor. So as you can see now, we have the motor clean and as you can see, it's a big difference. Now when the oil flows over the head, the valves, 
um, in the springs and stuff, it'll actually be able to move out and not puddle and clog up. Those thick puddles of oil hold heat. Um, heat is the, like the number one killer of engines. So um, not only does it hold heat, it holds other you know debris in there. And like I said, if that breaks apart, it'll go through the system and slowly. Or it might even happen pretty quick, actually, because if you're going down the highway and your oil pump stops, you better believe shortly thereafter the car is going to stop. <laughs> Again, those are the chunks that we took out of there to give you perspective. See how thick that chunk is there? Like that. It's just nothing but thick, good oil. And um, this right here is kind of like in your body if you, if you, um, eat too much fat I guess and it clogs up in your arteries and cause you to have a heart attack. This stuff here, if it uh, builds up in the oil passageways which are kind of like your arteries, the same thing is going to happen to your engine. And that's why I said <laughs> how to prevent your car from having a heart attack. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't want this on the interstate. Uh, this is uh, after it's been cleaned. We're going to do a little more cleaning to get you know a little more in depth in there. But again, this is uh, before cleaning in the back. We'll do that one next. As you can see, it's just all cooked up back in there. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please subscribe, post. Until next time, have a great day.